All right, what's going on, everyone? It's TRL back with some more Suns news. First off, before I get into the topic, I just want to say happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hopefully, you NFL fans enjoy the game. Uh, obviously, I won't really be doing much for that game, but I'll still be watching it. It should be a good one. I can't wait. And if you're a Chiefs or Eagles fan, best of luck to you guys. Um, go get that trophy. But as of yesterday, the Phoenix Suns officially made a move for the bench. Now, if you guys didn't check out my uh, buyout market video, uh, I suggest you guys go check that out. I uh, basically showed some candidates on who the Phoenix Suns may target and who I think they should get. And yesterday, there was some news that came out that Terrence Ross is expected to sign with the Phoenix Suns as soon as the Magic buy him out. And I like the signing. I like it. Uh, he's shooting 38% from the three-point line. So, obviously, if when he gets put in the game, he can help out Damian Lee a lot, who's having a career high in three-point percentage as well, and he's one of the top leaders in the NBA right now. So, by the addition of Terrence Ross, and I saw some of his highlights in Orlando, and he can score in the paint, too. He can score from the mid-range pretty good. So, obviously, this, this signing is really, really good. I don't, now, obviously... There were some rumors that he was going to go to the Mavericks, but thank God that that didn't happen because that would have definitely made them a lot more tougher to uh, to beat. But after this signing, this may not be the Suns' last move. Now, I think we currently have one more roster spot open, and Wainwright is currently on a two-way deal. So if we get another player on this team, uh, we would be able to play Ish Wainwright until the playoffs because he's running out of games on his two-way contract. So if we convert his contract into a actual NBA contract, then um, I don't think we would have any roster spots open available. So we'll see what Matt Ishbia does. Now, I still feel like we need a point guard, a backup point guard. Now, obviously Cameron Payne and Landry Shamit are still injured. So uh, we could be waiting until they come back. But I still feel like, if, I mean, Reggie Jackson obviously went to Denver, so he's not available anymore. But unless Ishby is interested in getting John Wall or something like that, uh, then I don't really see us making another move now. P just please, for the love of God, do not get Russell Westbrook. Just for the love of God, don't get him. Um, but, yeah, the Suns get Terrence Ross after getting bought out by the Orlando Magic. We also saw that Danny Green went to Cleveland, so he's not available anymore after being bought out by the Rockets. So let me know what you guys think about this news. Uh, I like it. It definitely impacts our bench a lot. Uh, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. We'll see if he plays on Tuesday against Sacramento. Uh, I don't know if he will, but for Tuesday against the Kings, expect to see TJ Warren and Darius Baisley for that game. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching that game. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this news. Do you think the Suns will make one more move before they officially – get KD on the floor. But anyway, guys, that's all I got. See you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Super Bowl Sunday for NFL fans out there. And have a great rest of your day. I'm out.